Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Frank, just talk to me, a press conference done. Uh, there's a lot of talk about the body, targeting the body of Usyk. Is that something that you've seen that you've seen him with Daniel Dubois, but is that something that you feel like Tyson has changed his game plan for? I've seen him in a few fights where he's getting hurt to the body, and uh, it's just one of the things. And he's, a, he's Listen, he's a very, very good fighter, Usyk. He's done everything that's been asked him as amateur. He's the Olympic champion. He's probably the best cruiserweight of his generation, and uh, he's been a heavyweight now for four years. But that is... That for him is something he doesn't like. He doesn't like it to the body. But there's other things there. And Tyson, you know, on his day using his boxing brain, I'm sure will will has the key to to that padlock to exploit all the weaknesses that we feel are there. Is there any bad feelings between you and Team Usyk? There was a lot of back and forth when the cut happened, but right now, or what's the feelings like between both camps? You know, it's just stupid. All the things that are being said. He had a cut. You know. It was just silly stuff that has been say, being said that I don't think does boxing any favours. It makes it look like you know where everybody's telling lies about things when it was quite simple. He got cut in sparring and he had to have his eyes sewn up. Frank, obviously there is a rematch clause in this fight, but quite a few people have discussed the idea of potential step aside money for Usyk if Tyson wins, and getting that fight with Tyson and Anthony Joshua that everyone wants to see. Could that be a realistic possibility? And the talk of a Wembley card in September as well be perfect for it. That's up to if Usyk loses, that's going to be up to him because he has the right to call for a rematch. Frank, um, His Excellency on the phone after uh, come across, kind of showed his personality more than ever before. I thought, um, do you enjoy seeing that? Because obviously you see him behind closed doors, and we got a glimpse of that today. He's a good, fun guy, and he's got a good personality. And he, he's he's a, he's. He loves his boxing, which, which for me is, is great because that's what I love as well. And, uh, and, you know, he's the catalyst for making lots and lots of things happen in, from, in Riyadh. And we'll be, we'll be um, expanding on that this year as well. Do you agree with what he said, the biggest fight of all time? It's the biggest fight of this century. It's the biggest fight of all time. This, financially, it's the biggest fight of all time. And as far as this century is concerned, it's the first time the heavyweight division, the four belts have ever been on the, online. And for that to happen makes it the biggest fight this century. It's a huge fight, huge fight. Frank, what would you rather happen next? Would you rather the USIC rematch or would you rather the AJ fight at Wembley? I'd rather he gets the fight out of the way on the 18th first and we we'll see where we go from there. You're giving me nothing here, Frank. Sorry? You're giving me nothing. I've just told you, let's get that fight out of the way. I mean, you want to go, you want to got lots to sort out it's hard it's been hard enough getting this one on so let's get this one out of the way and and that's what matters people want to see this fight this is the fight this is the two undefeated fights fighters you know as much as the joshua fights there at the end of the day this is the fellow that beat joshua not once twice so it's a, on paper it's a much better bigger fight how different of a tyson fury do you think we will see in comparison to the Ngannou fight, obviously he's going to have a massive fire lit under him to, to prove any doubt is wrong. Well, you know, you can't turn back the clock. What happened in the Ngannou fight happened. He had an off night, but he's such a good fighter, he can have an off night and still win a fight. And that's not many fights can do that. It's gone, it's dusted and done. Maybe uh, Usyk might feel he's seen something there that can give him something to work on in, in the ring against Tyson. We'll see, but... Um, that's yesterday. It's what counts now. It's on the 18th. John Fury said that he believed that Usyk could hurt Tyson at some point in the fight and believed there would be a late stoppage. Do you agree that Usyk has the capabilities to hurt Tyson? Yeah, he's a big man. He's a heavyweight. He's punches. He, he's a good puncher. Of course he can hurt him. Any heavyweight. You get caught with a big shot with these guys, you know, catch you in the right way, catch you on the chin or on top of the head, whatever, it can hurt you. And it can do that. that that's that's the danger. Uh, and, and Tyson, I'm sure, is more aware of that than any, anyone. And the other side of the coin is if Tyson catches him right, he'll go. Frank, any news on the 5v5? Are we going to get a, a line-up soon? There's a, big, there's a lot of news, just a bit of an exclusive here for everybody. There's a press conference next week. <laughs> Uh, Frank, His Excellency also said on the phone that he wants Tyson to fight kind of up to ten more times. That must be music to your ears. But oh, go it's, it's it's great. I mean, you know, that's that's how much of a how much uh, His Excellency feels that Tyson's you know 
brings to, to, to boxing and certainly to the Riyadh season. And if Tyson is fit and well and can fight 10 times and you heard him himself, he will do it. And, and whatever he wants to do, I'm, I'm all for that. He's not got miles on the clock. It's not like he's been having sort of four or five fights a year. He's not. He's had a little bit of inactivity. I think, you know, the, the Nagano fight will be, what, his first fight in, what, nearly two years? 18 months, two years? That's a long time. You, this might sound like a crazy question, Frank, but do you think Tyson could ever fight in the UK again with how much Saudi's influence in boxing at the moment? You never know. You never know. It's not a crazy question. Who would ever thought we was going to be in Saudi, you know, this time last year? Anything can happen. There's been talk of a UK version of the five versus five card, as excellently as said, they'd be interested in that. Could that be something that you're interested in as well? We will see what happens. We'd, one thing at a time. We've, there will be a show this year in the UK. There will be a big show. What the format is, yeah, is to be decided. Frank, what do you make of Carl Fletcher's latest comments about yourself and his excellency for you? Well, I just think it's moronic. I think it's disrespectful to people and their cultures and... Uh, but that's no more than you expect from a planker would like him. Frank, if you could steal one match room and one boxer fighter, who would you steal? Who would I steal? One match room fighter, one box room fighter. Um, that's a hard one. Ben Whitaker? <sighs> that's a hard one. But then I'd have to be replacing somebody that we got to do that. Mm. So I'm cool where I'm at. Really? Yeah. You're not going to steal Joshua, no? No, because Tyson Fury's with us. Exactly. And so he, you know, it is what it is. And you know, we are working on shows together now. So we are working with. with what, what do you make of the sort of beef between uh, Eddie and Ben Shalom? It's sort of nice to just sit Who? back. Eddie and Ben Shalom. Is it sort of nice to just sit I, back and watch them go up? I'm pleased. I'm not involved. It's <laughs> nice to be on the outside looking in and watching these guys saying what they've got to say. Have you had? What's this problem? over? This is over. So who the match room are saying that. Boxer don't want to fight any other fighters. They've withdrew from a few purse bids. Obviously, Isaac Chamberlain's just pulled out of purse bids to fight Chef Clark. Oh, he pulled out this morning. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. What can I say? I mean, you know, it is what it is. Let him work it out. Have you had any difficulties with Boxer in that sense and getting fights made? No, uh, no I've got to be. Uh, uh, the only thing I can say is, is that we, making the fight with AJ, we did agree terms. Uh, sorry, not AJ, with um, Anthony Yard, we did agree terms for the uh, fight with. Um, uh, Joshua Boatsy. Frank, can I ask you, what happens in the 5v5 if someone gets an injury? Are there fights in, or fighters in the background ready to yeah. take a spot, or do other fights get made? We, the... we will see what happens. We'll see what happens, because that depends what weight it, If, God forbid, that happens, it depends what weight it is. I spoke to Usyk and relayed an apology that was given from Joshua to Klitschko, via, well, via Klitschko to Usyk um, for taking the microphone after the second fight, was, was that something you felt that maybe needed an apology in that moment? Yeah, I think I think he got caught up in the moment, and I think you know maybe at the time the people who were working with him in the corner should have took the mic off him or you know helped him. But it was, I don't think it, excuse me, who cares anymore? Who remembers stuff like that? It's gone, isn't it? It's done and dusted. You're asking me just now, when's he fighting Tyson? That's how much anybody cares about that. It's gone. You, yes, made, you made comments um, about Usyk potentially being, well, being a crybaby to body shots. and for, for that, I think you've said beforehand, but can you just clarify the judging situation? Are you looking to put in specific well, judges? We, we, to we, the rules meeting is going to be, there's going to be a lot of, lots to be said at the rules meeting. And we just, all we want is a very, very strong referee who applies the rules correctly and before the fight, gives his instructions with a lot of clarity as to what the, the areas are for shots and also he's you know he's not going to be in, being overwhelmed by the, the occasion of such a, a fight of this magnitude and judges who are competent. Do you put forward a recommendation for referees? Do you this side no, gets put no, that forward? No, no, it's up for them to put forward uh, a, a list of names and it's up to them to the both teams then to, to look at them and hopefully agree mutually agree on um, on uh, who the officials are going to be. Frank, do you have any plans to work with Francis Ngannou again? And if you could pick the next fight for him in boxing, who would it be and why? I haven't thought of that, to be quite honest. And uh, I don't know what he wants to do. But as, we, as you know, we've got a lot of heavyweights on our roster. So let's see what happens. Him versus Zang or Wilder? 
it'd be a great fan friendly fight wouldn't it yeah I'm sure it would be I'm sure it would be Frank just uh, one prediction for a fight that's happening April 20th in the US Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia Devin Haney was out in Riyadh uh, a couple of fights ago but just talk to me about that one how does that fight play out I think it's a tough fight is he, how is he now Ryan it's the fight seems to be going ahead yeah I know that but how is he that's not you know, as, provided he's mentally okay and you know for the fight and whatever, it's a you know, it's a tough fight. I mean, it depends what Ryan Garcia shows up at the moment. Should the fight go ahead, Frank? I'll, I'll lean to Garcia. It's a new age bit of promotion because if he's not well, then the fight maybe shouldn't go ahead. But if he is well, then he's kind of off the back of mental health problems promoting the fight, which is leaves us in a bit of a weird situation, doesn't it, Frank? It, it, it is, but you know, obviously. Uh, Look, first of all, it's not going to be even up to him whether he's fight. I mean, there's, there's, you know, the commission concerned with the fight will obviously want to make sure that he is. And now, I'm, I'm, and I don't think nobody's going to let him in the ring if it, unless he's right, if they care about him, that is. Canelo versus Munguia, thoughts on that fight? Uh, is it done now? Yeah, mostly. Mostly done now. I don't know. I mean, I think Can- I've got a fancy Canelo, but I think Canelo is there to be. T- he's, you know, he's he's not going to be there much longer, in my opinion. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.